Greetings, YouTube. The Doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and & Dragons. And welcome back to the channel that brings power gaming to the next level. Today on the Doctor Spell Prognosis, we are talking about the spell Sunburst. I am giving this spell a C+. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right. C+. Plus. Uh, I'm not a super fan of this spell. There are better 8th level spell choices that are present. But let's go over the spell and then we'll talk about a little, a few things with it. It's an 8th level spell. It takes one action, 150 foot range with a 60 foot radius. That's huge. Verbal, somatic, a material component. Eh, okay. So brilliant sunlight flashes in a 60-foot radius center at a point you choose within range. Each creature in that light must make a con save. I can't stand con saves. On a failed save, the creature takes 12d6 radiant damage and is blinded for one minute. On a successful save, it takes half as much damage and is not blinded. Undead and oozes have disadvantage on the saving throw. A creature blinded by this spell makes another con save at the end of each of their turns. On a successful save, it's no longer blinded. The spell dispels any darkness in its area that was created by the spell. All right, so a fireball that is 8th level is going to be doing... Let's see here. I'm going to get my fingers out, and I'm going to count on my fingers. So at third level, it does 8d6. At fourth level, 9. Fifth level, 10. Sixth level, 11. Seventh level, 12. 13. So, so Fireball does more damage but by a d6, but it doesn't blind anything. And then the Rider of Undead News is having disadvantages also not there. And it doesn't dispel darkness. So if you were to cast a Fireball at 8th level, it would do a little bit more damage, but not as many different effects. Now, so there is that. I don't like this con save business, but I guess it's radiation damage, so that's why they say con save. So let's talk about the pros. The pros here, the range is great, 150 feet. The area is awesome. And it's not so awesome at the same time. If it, you know, if you've got a bead on a group of enemies that are far away, then you're definitely going to get all of them at once. But if you've got a bead on enemies that are not so far away and your allies are there, then it's not going to be great. However, the wizard who, who can use this one can mitigate that. Um, another pro is that it blinds creatures. It does radiant damage as a pro because there's very few things that are resistant to radiant damage. The disadvantage for undead and oozes makes this a pretty good spell to use against those. But again, you know, they still have pretty high saving throws. And then it gets rid of any darkness, any darkness that is created by a spell. Any darkness created by a spell. Spell dispels any darkness. So that's even even darkness is created by a ninth level spell. So those are good things. This this might be a spell that you need to have just for that particular problem. All right. We already said area is is a con. It's a pro and a con. And again, it's a con because you could have allies that are in hand-to-hand -hand combat and you don't want to hit them. If you're a druid using this spell, you can't really mitigate that. And you can't do that as a, a sorcerer either. Now, sorcerers can quicken this spell with some spell points, so there is that. It is less than fireball damage at this level, but not very much. I don't like the con save. That's a, that's a con. Let's not do any pun jokes. The other thing I don't really, 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 really don't like about this spell is clerics can't use this spell. It's not on the cleric lists. It's not even on the light cleric list for the light domain. I think that's a massive oversight on the part of Wizards of the Coast. Again, it highlights how they had different consultants and different writers for each one of these spells. Some of these spells are amazing. Some of these spells are not so amazing. They're just kind of there. They kind of fill things. They have a lot of flavor. This one has a level of flavor, but I really think because it's so effective against undead, I really think that clerics should be able to use it at least at a minimum 
like clerics. In my games, I would actually put this on their list so they could cast that. And then the other thing I don't like, this is an 8th level spell, and it allows a con save at the end of each turn. I personally think that if you crank the damage down one die to 11d6, and they fail their save, they're blinded for a minute, period. They don't get another saving throw. I really think that that should be a thing, and it's not. So, um, now, let's talk about a way that the wizard can mitigate this damage. So, I've got... Well, okay, first thing I want to talk about is druids. Druid is the first class listed here that can use this. Here are the 8th level druid spells. Sunburst is on here. We haven't done Tsunami yet. Tsunami is actually a really good spell. Feeble Mind is awesome. So I think, you know, you get one you get one slot. You get one choice. And I really think that Sunburst is not the choice to take unless you absolutely know you're going up against Undead. And then you can only cast it once. And you might, hopefully you'll blind things for a couple of rounds, enough to take care of them. Um, Feeble Mind is a single target. Tsunami is basically everything. And it, and it keeps pushing things. So I like that effect of it. And we'll get to that spell when we get to it. So I think if you've got the right party with you, then Sunburst for a Druid, and you know that you're going up against Undead, so you know Sunburst for a Druid could be a good go-to. So let's talk about the other thing here, and that is for Wizards. So if you're an Evocation Wizard, of course you've got the Sculpt spell. So... Um, you got nine creatures that you can choose that automatically make their save versus a spell, and then there's no effect on them. So you could mitigate that large area by doing that. Um, I actually like, of course, the Divination Wizard with the Portent ability because I'm going to be targeting certain things, especially if they're undead, and I want them to fail, and I want them to fail pretty badly. So if I've got two or three of those bad rolls then I can keep this spell going for a couple of rounds, which is usually enough to get rid of just about everything. All right. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about, of course, is if you've got bards in the party, then you can work with them to, um, to do, like, unsettling words and give a, a penalty to um, some of those saving throws. Now, for the sorcerers, you got your meta magics. Um, distant spell is really not something you can empower it. So when you roll damage for the spell, you spend one point. You reroll any number of dice up to your charisma modifier. Um, that's okay, and this should be like five dice. Uh, you can heighten the spell. That'll give one thing a disadvantage on the saving throw. You can quicken the spell. You can't twin this one. Uh, there's a couple of other options here. You can. Um, uh, you can't transmute it, and it's not. There's no attack roll, so you can't really do that either. Now, which kind of sorcerer do I like? Well, I like the I like the wild sorcerer because of the bend luck ability. So you could heighten it, and uh, you can't use double mana magic, but bend luck is not a mana magic. So you could heighten it and then use um, bend luck, or you could use bend luck and then heightened it and give them a, pon a, a penalty on their saving throw and disadvantage at the same time. Now, if they're undead, you don't need to um, heighten it at all because they automatically have disadvantage. Now, as far as all the 8th level spells go comparably, you know, you're only going to get one slot. Are there better spells than Sunburst? Absolutely. Power Word Stun, we went over that one yesterday. Maze is amazing. Um, Incendiary Cloud is another amazing one for both sorcerers and wizards, and it does 10d8 damage every round, and it blinds things because it's a cloud. Um, Feeble Mind is another great one. Dominate Monster is another great one. So, you know, we've got a lot of good spells that we could be using. Maddening Darkness, not my favorite one. It doesn't do enough damage, and it doesn't have any riders on it. I don't think that should be an 8th level spell. So, I mean, you know, there is that. There's a couple spells on the next page we haven't gone over. But, I mean, that's that's pretty much my summary of this and its uses. So, take it as you want. 
And that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.